Microsoft Windows. Like it or not, we all know it's a giant bowl of compatibility spaghetti. One of the main reasons for this is Microsoft has a huge back catalog of software. More than any other operating system, people just expect old programs to work on new versions of Windows. And surprisingly, there are some ridiculously old programs that still work on Microsoft's newest version of Windows. So let's look at some examples of stuff that clearly shouldn't work, but totally does. Let's go back to 1992. I was a drooling baby, and Microsoft at the time was chilling with their flagship OS, Windows 3.1. This year they released a follow-up to the original Microsoft Entertainment Pack, creatively entitled Microsoft Entertainment Pack 2. As many people remember, these packs were a collection of arcade and casual games. These were likely used to goof around at work back in the day before the internet. Many of these games have been forgotten or lost to the sands of time. However, one game has become a staple of later versions of Windows, Free Cell. Now the original version of Free Cell designed for this pack is a 16-bit program and will not run on modern versions of Windows. However, just a year later in 1993, Microsoft released the Win32's update which gives Windows 3.1 limited compatibility with 32-bit applications. Included in this update is a version of FreeCell that has now been converted into a 32-bit program. This version of FreeCell will run natively on any version of Windows version 3.1 and onward. It will even correctly display the version of Windows you are running in the About dialog. Considering this program is almost 30 years old, this is pretty impressive. What else can we dig up from the past here? Hey, do you remember screensavers? We don't use them much anymore, but I remember watching that 3D Maze screensaver for Windows 95 for hours when I had nothing better to do. But hey, it was cool, and why not relive that coolness today? You can still grab the screensaver file off of any Windows 95 or 98 computer and plop it on Windows 10 or 11 and use it. Just right click, hit the install button and boom. Some of the textures are a bit mixed up, but impressively it works. And the same is true for pretty much any old screensaver file, Windows 95 and onward. If you're on a 32-bit version of Windows 10, even old SCN screensavers from Windows 3.1 work. Look at that, you can even use Starfield in Windows 10. Who'd have thunk it? Hey, what about 32 and 64-bit versions of Windows? Well, older 16-bit programs still work on the 32-bit version of Windows 10 with the official NTVDM add-on. This allows you to do some strange things. Not only can you run most older programs, but you can also run stuff like the Windows 3.1 RegEdit, Paintbrush, Clock, Task Manager, and oddly enough, the Program Manager. Obviously, it doesn't work quite right, but it's kind of funny that it even launches at all. Worth noting as well, you can get these 16-bit programs and old screensavers working on 64-bit Windows with a little-known app called WineVDM, which will give you a 16-bit compatibility layer. I did a video on this a while back, so check it out if it sounds neat. So hey, what about running new programs on older versions of Windows? This gets to be a bit hit or miss, obviously, but there are some exceptions. Most developers don't list support for versions of Windows older than Windows XP, but sometimes you get lucky. For instance, the latest version of the DAW program, Reaper, will run natively on Windows 95, 98, and Me. This is completely unlisted on the website, and you probably need at least 256 megabytes of RAM to make it work properly, but hey, she runs. In fact, it worked well enough that I was able to record a song with it using Windows Me as an experiment on my other channel a while back. There are also some edge cases where you can run some unsupported programs on Windows 98 with the unofficial compatibility layer Kernel EX. Not really a reason to do this other than satisfying some morbid curiosity, but hey, it's neat to have it there. Well, that just about sums this video up of me yammering on about Windows compatibility and whatnot, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what the oldest program for Windows that you are currently running is. I'd be interested to know. And if you like this video, uh, I have many more like it and on the way. So give me a like and a sub and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.